Good morning everyone. Today's topic is treatment for hyperammonemia in neonates. Aminol and arginine are the two important medications used for the treatment of hyperammonemia in neonates with dialysis. Aminol, sodium phenyl acetate or sodium benzoate. It is used to treat hyperammonemia in neonates and urea cycle disorder. Nursing consideration monitor plasma ammonia level every 1 to 2 hours during dialysis. Loading dose of amino 250 mg per kg IV in combination with arginine hydrochloride 600 mg per kg IV infusion over 90 to 120 minutes. Maintenance dose of amino 250 mg per kg with arginine hydrochloride 600 mg per kg IV infusion over 24 hours. It should be given through the central line. For loading and maintenance doses, dilute aminol and arginine in 25 to 35 ml per kg detergent water prior to administration. Normal saline is incompatible with arginine and aminol. Solution compatibility detergent water and arginine. Let's see the example for preparing aminol. Dose ordered. 250 mg per kg of aminol. Baby's weight 3 kg, stock 10 percentage. If it's written 10 percentage, it means 10 gram in 100 ml. So 1 gram equal to 10 ml, 1 gram means 1000 mg. So 1000 mg equal to 10 ml. So 1 ml equal to 100 mg. Formula dose order times weight times volume divided by the concentration. Dose order is 250 mg per kg. So 250 mg times weight 3 kg times volume 1 ml divided by the concentration 100 mg. So you will get 7.5 ml of aminol. Then we will calculate dilution because aminol and arginine should be given uh, after dilution with dextrose. Order for diluting aminol is dextrose 10 percentage 25 ml per kg It's constant 25 ml per kg is constant. 25 ml times 3 kg equal to 75 ml of beaten water. Then we will calculate for flushing the tubing. For flushing, we will take 1 by 4th of the aminol and beaten water. If in case we don't have the small micro set for uh, IV infusion, if you are using the big set, uh, we will calculate for flushing the tubing. So, we calculate already 7.5 ml of aminol. So, divided by 4 because 1 fourth of the aminol. So, you will get 1.875 ml. So, 7.5 ml of aminol plus 1.875 uh, ml of aminol for flushing. So, you will get 9.375 ml. 75 ml of dextrose divided by 4 because 1 fourth for flushing. So you will get 18.75 ml. So 75 ml of dextrose plus 18.75 ml of dextrose for flushing, you will get 93.75 ml. Preparation 9.375 ml of aminol plus 93.75 ml of dextrose. Total 103 ml. But baby should receive 75 ml remaining for flushing the tube. For the loading, baby should receive 75 ml over 90 to 120 minutes. For the maintenance dose, baby should receive 75 ml over 24 hours. So 75 ml over 24 hours, 3.1 ml per hour for 18 hours and 3.2 ml per hour for 6 hours. So you will get 3.1 times 18 hours. So it will be 55.8. 3.2 times 6 hours, it's 19.2 ml. So, total, the baby should receive 75 ml. Second one is arginine hydrochloride. It is used to treat hyperammonia in units and urea cycle disorder. Nursing consideration, monitor plasma ammonia level 1 to 2 hour during dialysis. The loading dose of arginine 600 mg per kg IV. In combination with amino 250 mg per kg, IV infusion over 90 to 120 minutes. Maintenance dose of arginine 600 mg per kg IV with amino 250 mg per kg IV infusion over 24 hours. It should be given via central line. 
For loading and maintenance doses, dilute aminol and arginine 25 to 35 ml per kg diluted water prior to administration. Normal saline is in incompatible. Solution compatibility diluted water and aminol. Example Dose ordered arginine 600 mg per kg IV, babies by 3 kg, stock 200 mg per ml. Formula Dose order times weight times volume divided by the concentration. Dose order 600 mg times baby's weight 3 kg times the volume on number divided by the uh, concentration 200 mg. So 9 you will get 9 ml of arginine. Then same like before we need to calculate for the dilution. Uh, order for uh, diluting dextrose 25 ml per kg is constant. 25 ml times 3 kg, you will get 75 ml of peat and water. We should receive 75 ml. Then we will calculate for flushing of the tubing. For flushing, <coughs> we will take 1 by 4th of the aminol and region water. So, we already we calculated 9 ml of arginine. So, divided by 1 by 4th of flushing. So, divided by 4. So, you will get 2.25 ml of arginine. Uh, so, 9 plus 2.25, you will get 11.25 ml of arginine. 75 ml divided by 4, you will get 18.75 ml. That is 75 ml of dextrose plus 18.75 ml of dextrose for flushing. Uh, you will get 93.75 ml. Preparation 11.25 ml of arginine plus 93.75 ml of dextrose. That is a total of 105 ml. Baby should receive 75 ml remaining for flushing the tube. For the loading, baby should receive 75 ml over 90 to 120 minutes. For the maintenance, baby should receive 75 ml over 24 hours. So 75 ml over 24 hours, 3.1 ml per hour for 18 hours. So 3.1 times 18, you will get 55.8 ml. 3.2 ml per hour for 6 hours, you will get 19.2 ml. So total 75 ml. Thank you.